ocean. We know that the cups is the place where the land meets the water. So here we have the ocean and some sand. And if you turn around and look this way, behind us are some cliffs. This beach does not have a lot of sand like the ones that are closer to where we live in Whittier. And here we have a lot of cliffs and even some trees up there. You can see lots of rocks coming right out onto the sand. Some animals. And then if you look into the ocean, you can see some rocks in the ocean. Right over there. You can see some of the some of the waves coming up over top of those. So now we're gonna go over and we're gonna see another part of the beach, and you're going to get to see a cave. So come on. Okay, friends, I'm going to show you some of the things that I found right here on this beach. I have shells. Look at all the different colors. Look at this one. It's got a little bit of red and white on it. Lots of different animals will have lived in these shells. And here's a rock. A nice smooth rock with a little bit of sand on it. And then over here, what's this? Here's what this is. That's seaweed. And that came right up from the ocean. These are the kind that are really fine because if you squeeze them, they pop and make little juicy stuff come everywhere. The tide's coming in right now. You can see the water comes right up to the edge of these rocks right now. I'm going to put my things down now, and I want you to come with me. We're going to go over here. I'm going to show you another land coin. Come on. This one's a little dark. But right in here, we have another land form. I'm going to go inside. It's a cave. <laughs> it's really low over here. And there's some green moss growing right on the rocks over here. And there are more shells and more rocks as well that you can find. Now this one is not a very big cave. It doesn't go back very far, but I'm gonna to try to get in here a little bit more before it gets to be too small for me to fit inside. <laughs> Look, all the way right there. It gets really dark inside. Now this cave, when the tide comes in, the water comes in, this area right here will be all full of water. And that water over time is going to wear away more of this rock and make this cave deeper and deeper. It'll take a really long time. Look at that one. That one's almost blue. And different shades, different shapes, different sizes. These would be awfully fun to sort. All right, thank you. And look at these. We've got some little tiny sea animals here, kind of like mussels. They've got a little shell, and they're really attached to the rock right there. I don't know if I can pick this one up. No, he's not going to come off of there. But there we go. Inside these shells is a little animal. It's a whole cluster of them, all stuck right up onto the rock. Some pretty little neat. sea animals. Again, stuck right up onto the rock. Lots of them. The clusters of them over here. You can also see that there are some plants growing right up on the rock. Okay. All right, here's another area of the coast. And look, you can see the water coming right in, filling these little tide pool areas over here. Uh, the water will come in. We've got another wave coming. There are also lots of uh, animals that live in this area and some plant life too. We have over here, we have what looks like some marine grass growing. And inside here you can see some animals that live in shells that are attached right to the side of the rock. Look at that. You see this animal right here? This animal is a sea anemone. I'm going to touch it with this piece of seaweed to see if it'll move. What happens? It's testing and it's feeling that piece of seaweed. See it move? How close is up? Taking a taste. See if it would like to eat that seaweed. And then if I move the seaweed away, in a moment, we're looking up again. There's a little hermit crab right inside that sea anemone. Do you remember the story by Eric Carl, A Home for Hermit Crab? Well, here's a hermit crab right here. And there's his home. I wonder if he'll decorate it like the crab in, Herm in the uh, home for hermit crab. I think he'll decorate it with some seashells. I'm going to put him in the water. There he goes. There are a lot more friends for him right down in there. You can see them moving around. There are a lot of little hermit crabs crawling around. Look at that. Oh, 
Here's one right over here, and a little tiny baby one. And here's a bigger one right here. Oh, that guy looks like he might be getting ready for a new home. A lot of animals live on the coast. Yep. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the different things that you can find here on the coast. The place where the land.